Today we're taking a look at our Titan Chain Diamond Alloy Snow Tire Chains right here on our 2012 Chevrolet Sonic. I really like how they're easy to install and they have that diamond pattern so pretty much the features of a premium tire chain without the premium price. If you want to upgrade, check out the Koenig CG9. Those are awesome chains. I did them here on the Sonic. But if you want to stick with an affordable option, just ready for emergency purposes, I would definitely go with this one. Now, while the Sonic is not exactly the type of vehicle you would expect that would be using tire chains, there are still situations, especially in certain states where you're required to have tire chains before you can continue. And in those cases too, with the Sonic having a very low profile clearance behind its tires, you need low profile traction devices. And that's where the Titan Chain Diamond Alley Snow Tire Chains can come in handy. So these are similar to the Koenig CG9 tire chains, but they're a lot more affordable. I would go with these tire chains if I'm on a budget, but I also want tire chains that are easy to install and I can trust. So we'll talk about those different features. First is the diamond pattern of the chain. So compared to your traditional ladder style chains, these cover more of your tire. So you won't have as much of an annoying bump, bump, bump on the road as the traditional chains have. Plus with them covering more, they have more traction on the roads when you have to make those stops or those turns. I would go with diamond pattern. The links are square links, which means they have those flat edges, which create that traction. These are not grooved though, compared to some of your more premium chains. So they still provide that grip and traction in snow and ice though. There is very limited clearance behind your tires. In fact, if you check your owner's manual, it would say if you do have traction devices, these have low profile traction devices. So there's something called the class SAE classification. And this is class S, which means it is low profile and it is recommended for those low clearance situations. Your chains are gonna arrive in this case. And I really like cases like these. This is gonna be a soft shell case because it makes it so much easier to store inside your vehicle. If you're just planning on storing chains in the vehicle for emergency purposes, this is the way to go. When you open up the case, you'll have chains, so two of them, a pair. You also have instructions for how to put them on, or you could watch this video where I guide you through the process. I also recommend keeping a pair of gloves in here or some, let's say, safety kits. There's also a tire chain safety install kit that has a rubber mat as well as lights to keep you safe on the road as you install these chains. There's different tire sizes for the Chevy Sonic, and this one is 195-65-R15. If you're not sure what tire size you have, just double check your sidewall. And that number will help you use the eTrailer.com fit guide where you can find the right fit for you. I also have these installed on the front tires as per the owner's manual, and that will also help with your steering. Now when your chains arrive, I highly recommend going straight away into laying them out into your garage and just double checking that everything looks good. You want to make sure that all the links are not tangled up, nothing's warped or cracked, and that you have them all making it easier for you to install them. Also, there is a correct side when putting them on your tires. You want the flat portion on your tires and this hook portion away from your tires. Once everything looks good, then grab half of your chains and try to feed them around your tire and then grab them on the other side. What I found helps out is when you comb out the other end so it makes a nice arc around your tires. It just lets everything settle better. And then you make your first connections. So see this end with the yellow and the other end with the gray. And they are gonna meet up top above your tires and secure. Once they're secure, leave them behind your tires and bring the chains forward. Now make your second connection, which is this green hook and this yellow link. And then make your third and bottom connection which is this red, pretty much lever, as well as this long gray chain. 
So that chain goes into that lever and then you are gonna have to pull it as tight as you can get it to get that tension on your chain. Now you're gonna utilize one of these hoops, really whichever one makes more sense to you. You're gonna go through them and that's gonna help you get that tension in order to pull that and then put it and connect it to one of the chains it reaches. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Afterwards, I recommend rolling forwards or backwards a couple of feet and then double checking that everything still looks good. When you roll, you may get a little bit of looseness in the chain, so you might have to tighten it up again. But after that, that's it for the install. You're ready to hit the road and face the snow. And that was a look at our Titan Chain Diamond Pattern Alloy Snow Tire Chains here on our 2012 Chevrolet Sonic.